Hi, I'm Murat, and today I will introduce our study titled Interplay between Neural Computational Energy and Multimodal Processing in Robot-Robot Interaction. The main focus of our study is threefold, which are multimodal learning, robot-robot interaction, and neural energy consumption. Multimodal learning is widely explored area in machine learning and robotics, especially in human-robot interaction. But only a few studies investigated multimodal learning in robot-robot interaction. And what is more, the last number of the studies addressed multimodal learning focusing on energy consumption. So in this study, we combine these less explored aspects. And to address these aspects, we frame the following research question. How does integrating auditory and visual data influence the neural energy consu uh, consumption in robot-robot interaction? And to answer this question, we designed an interactive task with two robots, Pepper as a teacher and now as a learner robot. Then we impaired the available sensory modalities of the learner robot to assess the energy consumption during multimodal interaction. Our interactive environment is composed of one degree with 11 cells that correspond states. And each cell hosts a set of visual patterns with the noise rates, and these noise rates are written under the each cell. Here, the lear learner robot forms multimodal inputs by combining the visual pattern and corresponding audio labels. In this setting, the learner robot aims to perform interactive recall while reducing the computational energy. And here you see in the video the learner robot always starts in the middle of the grid, which is state 5. It can move either left or right, and, and it aims to reach the, one of the terminal states, like state 0 and state 10. And during this experiment, it interacts with the teacher robot. In our setup, we employ three types of learner robots. The first one is multimodal learner, which can process audio and visual data as it is. The second one is audio impaired learner robot, which perceive visual data from the environment as it is, but it process noisy audio data. The third one is the vision impaired robot. It can perceive audio data as it is, but it processes noisy visual data. To remind the interaction flow, uh, flow in this uh, setting, the learner robot perceive visual data after selecting one of the states. Then it employs cognitive modules to decide where it should perform an action, either based on uh, its own Q matrix or based on teacher robot suggestion. And note that the learner uh, robot asks help from the teacher when its own action leads to a higher computational energy consumption. And the role of teacher robot in here is to provide randomly generated actions and audio labels. In our setting, all learner robots have two cognitive modules. The first one is multimodal auto-associative memory. We form this module by using visual patterns and the corresponding audio labels as spectrogram images. And this module allows the learner robot to perform multimodal memory recall and extract computational energy for multimodal processing. Here, the energy is the number of the flipped bits to reach a convergence state. And the second module is the internal reward. And this module employs computational energy values to extract the internal reward, and it allows the learner robot to perform energy-guided decisions. To present the results, we get the experimental statistics of all learner robots. And we show that the multimodal learner robot is achieving the highest cumulative average reward. And recall that reward is a function of energy and high reward indicates low co energy consumption. We also show that multimodal learner uh, robot is learning the contribution of the teacher robots to the task. And this is evidenced by the requesting less amount of help from the teacher robot. And you can see this in the last uh, column of the uh, table. And we show that the multimodal learner robot is learning the interaction dynamics better. And by interaction dynamics, we mean that state, computational energy, and action association while performing this interactive task. 
And to show the behavior of the all learner robot in one graph, we draw this uh, figure. And here we depict the best and the worst runs for each robot. And the best runs uh, we show with the solid lines and the worst runs we show with the dashed lines. And it can be seen that the multimodal learner robot with the green curve performs better compared to the other learner robots. With our study, we demonstrate that the learner robot performs interactive tasks by reducing the cost associated with multimodal processing. And in the future, we will extend our study in a cross-modal learning experiment to perform sensory motor tasks where multiple modalities will be available to the learner robot during the execution. And we will use noisy sensor data for one of the modality to assess trade-off between computational energy and task accuracy. We acknowledge the grant support from the following organizations, and we also thank the conference organizers.